let's take a look at how we can use the app for PowerPoint to create a quick meme. So go ahead and find your PowerPoint app. It might be under Office 365 and it should open up to here. If it doesn't, look across the bottom, you'll see that you have a home button. You also have a folders button if you wanna find a prior presentation, but I'm gonna click on that plus button, which creates a new presentation. And I'm gonna start with a blank. And while I'm here, on the blank, I can start creating things by just double tapping as it says, and it will bring up the keyboard for me. Notice that I have all these little tools along here that I can add bullets and make it bold. Um, I can change the color. Of course, I have to select it if that's what I want to change the color. So all these things are available, and I could even go to more colors if I don't see the color that I want. Make that bold. I can change my font. I can do lots of things in here. When I'm done, I can click Done. And I can click Edit at any time. And let's say I want to add a photo that I've taken. I can add that in. I can resize this photo. I can rotate it. I can move it around. And I have those different things for photo editing. I can add borders. I could crop if I wanted to. I could add a comment. I could send to back, bring to front. And um, I can even click on the triple dot and I'm gonna see my styles, shadows, reflections, all those really fun things that we have worked on before. until I have my picture the way I like, my title. Notice I can move this around however I want, resize it, move things. And I can add a second slide if I want and a third slide. So I, if I'm creating a slideshow, I can easily um, do that as well. And um, if I'm creating a slideshow, if I click done, you'll see I have present and I can do some options there. You'll notice also if the triple dots in the upper right, I can save, I can send a copy, export, print. And I'm gonna click back on edit here because if I click on my slide and I click on the triple dots and I have this home, if I pull down home, you'll notice that I can insert, draw, design, transitions, and underneath design, that's where we can find out our format background. And we can pick different kinds of fills that we might want for our background. Notice that we don't have some nice things like gradients, but we could choose a picture to put in our background as well. If I'm happy with this, again, I click on the triple dots or the, the up arrow um, there to save or share or this triple dot, and that's when I can send a copy of it, I can rehearse it or print it. So I hope that helps you get going with the app. We have most of our tools along the bottom rather than the top, and I'm using an iPhone.